Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Friday the 24th of November. Starting off with the FTSE 100, which has been uh, flat all week, uh, obviously not that impressed by the autumn statement and uh, probably also taking it easy with the Thanksgiving celebrations yesterday. We're in this micro range between around 7450, 7500. Uh, initial support rather simply near 7400 and if we break that it's down to 7300 in that march uptrend line if we do get through the 50-day line currently around uh, 7505 we're looking for 7650 maybe sometime during next month on to uh, the dax uh, which is still in a better place than the FTSE or has been uh, here we've had uh, the uh, island uh, bear trap reversal and then uh, another gap through that resistance line there from june Looking for a definitive break of 16,000 to take us up to a potential 16,800 target by the end of next month. All being well, we've got rising 50 and 200 day moving averages there. And they are heading for a potential golden cross sometime during December. Moving along to the pound, which has uh, strengthened after the uh, non-tax giveaway uh, during the week. Probably the rule here was that... Uh, if there was a tax giveaway, the pound would have weakened, and as uh, there hasn't been one, then uh, the pound has strengthened. We're looking for 127.40 now, which is that September resistance line projection, and that's valid while we hold above that rising 50-day line at 124.50. On to Bitcoin, and uh, here uh, my uh, call or hope of uh, 43,000 by the end of the month looks as though it... Uh, may struggle but all we are looking for here is now an end of day close through 38,000 if we get that this market could move quite quickly towards that um, appointed target whether it's uh, this side of the 1st of December or not good support coming in between 35 and 36,000 on various occasions there and obviously we've got the 50 and 200 day lines rising well Moving along to the stocks starting off with uh, Ajax which hasn't been around for uh, quite a while here we've got a situation where uh, we've snapped back above the 50-day line. That's around uh, 4.8 pence. We want to see this market stay above that on an end-of-day close basis or weekly close basis. Initial target here, the 200-day line at 7.3 pence. But the key here is holding that 50-day line area, which was also the October support for the stock. Worth looking at uh, Avacta again, just in case it's ready to push to the upside. Uh, we've had uh, various supports uh, and resistance lines uh, touched and then broken and then become invalid i suppose the current situation is that uh, there is an uptrend line that you can draw from the end of september and uh, the shares may have seen that and that's around the uh, 125 level and uh, with the rising 50-day line now we're looking for up to one pound 50 over the next two to four weeks uh, as the shares stabilize after that peak that we saw back in october Moving on to uh, Barron Oil, which uh, has uh, done what we wanted it to do, which was to uh, break the 200-day moving average there at 0.11. The target's still up to 0.14, and I suppose that would be by the end of next month now. Rising 50-day line as well, and that sideways shuffle, and what I call a V-shaped bull flag breakout through 0.1 pence, all helping the cause. The rally started with bullish divergence and a break of an August resistance line. One of the bear favorites, or the bear's favorites, uh, is Bidstack. And uh, here, the stock trying to defy uh, the negatives. Uh, nice blue candles all week, which is great. And an end-of-day close above the 50-day line there at 0.33 could take us up to 0.6 pence as soon as the end of next month. All things being well, we've also broken above the neckline resistance there at 0.332. So that is also suggesting that uh, there could be a rally here that has legs. Best case scenario would be uh, to fill the gap down from September, but obviously that is a punchy call given the history of the shares. Uh, Bushveld is back again. I've covered it many times and uh, seems to be uh, appreciating that coverage. We hit our initial target there at two and a quarter, looking for three and a quarter by the end of next month while we remain above, certainly while we remain above the uh, two pence area which seems quite likely, especially given the way that the 50-day line, uh, now at 1.6 pence, is rising sharply. On to a stock which doesn't get much coverage uh, here or anywhere else, and that is uh, Sirata. Here you can see that uh, we've had two wonderful gaps to the upside off the lows, which tends to be a good and reliable signal. You can also see that uh, 
Uh, most of the candles in the recent past have been uh, bullish ones. And we've got the rising 50-day line as well at 58 pence. Above that rising 50-day line, we're looking for up to 85 pence, which is the top of that broadening triangle from September. Maybe too early to say that that will be hit uh, by the end of December, but maybe by the end of January would we'll give it plenty of time if we can hold above that 58 pence. That's the uh, magic number there for Serato. On to stock, which I think has some news yesterday, Cambridge Nutritional. Used to be the old Omega Diagnostics. It's uh, hit our target there at around 3.1 pence on the nose today, uh, which is very satisfying. An end of day close above 3.1 pence, and we could be looking at uh, 3 and 3 quarter pence by the end of next month. So a, a reasonable recovery there for that situation. Uh, also bringing back uh, Gene Drive into the mix. Maybe early days yet, and we've already had a failed broadening triangle base, although I suppose it did hit a target there around 13, 14 pence back in September. Having another go now to hit the top of a triangle, that's around 10 pence and uh, above 7.5 pence recent neckline resistance, looking for 10 pence by the end of next month on Gene Drive. The next situation is one which has uh, done very well indeed, and uh, IMC continuing to do that. Looked very, very good in that with that V-shaped uh, bull flag uh, breakout that we had uh, earlier in the month through 1.4 pence. The target then was around 2.1 and above 2.1 pence. We are now looking for up to 3.2 pence by the end of next month and perhaps even sooner with the key here staying above 2.1 pence on IMC. Uh, looks like uh, Jog is uh, finally responding in a good way to uh, the latest uh, news that we had this week and some uh, High-profile buyers in the shares as well, tweeting out their involvement below uh, £2.50. Uh, current situation is that above our initial target there, around £2.40, we're looking for £2.80 by the end of next month, and perhaps even sooner if uh, things get off the ground. The other thing to notice is that uh, we've just had a golden cross between the 50 and 200-day moving averages, so that might give a bit of extra momentum to the shares. On to Jubilee uh, Metals, which has not exactly had a great year, but uh, maybe trying to finish the year off with a slightly better look. Uh, the initial November resist, November support, rather, 4.8 pence, looking for up to five, or up to six pence, in fact, at the 50-day moving average over the next two to four weeks, uh, even if the shares then slip after that. Revolution Beauty has done well over the recent past, and uh, here, going into a V-shaped bull flag. Uh, Mid-move consolidation, we had that unfull gap to the upside, and that was our uh, sort of buy trigger or technical buy trigger there. Above recent support, and probably allow it down to the 50-day line, 23 pence, then looking for the shares to hit 38 pence as soon as the end of next month. Haven't, carried, haven't covered, rather, uh, Seraphim for a long time, and uh, here we've had a, uh, well, had two signals here actually bouncing off the old uh, gap top there from back in July around 29 pence and then an unfilled gap to the upside to start this week so that looks quite healthy above 33 pence in the floor of that gap we are actually looking for 52 pence maybe by the end of January and hopefully a bit sooner than that but this looks like a decent consolidation here as we speak on to totally which i covered i think yesterday Pushed higher again today. We're looking for 11 pence, so it seems rather modest now. But uh, neckline resistance there at 8 pence above 8. We're looking for 11 pence over the next two to four weeks. 50-day moving average also rising now, which helps the cause. Uh, finishing off with uh, Upland, which uh, I think I covered yesterday. We had that breakthrough 2.8 pence. Above that, we're looking for the shares. Quite simply to fill that gap up to 3 and 3 quarter pence over the next couple of weeks or even sooner. RSI uh, rising at 50, uh, the 50-day the, the moving average rather rising quite nicely in the RSI there in the mid 50 so that does suggest that we are on our way. Uh, only an end of day close back below 2.8 really slowing down the idea of three and three quarters over the near term. That's it for me today. More updates over the weekend.